If there was ever a trash horror epic that touched my heart, it would be the Soul Tangler. It has been released by the AGFA and Bleeding Skull on Big Box VHS and DVD, and I own both versions. I would like to say that I'm insane for spending money on such a thing twice, but owning copies of each one felt necessary in order for me to come closer to having a more rounded SOV section on my shelf. Over time, the Soul Tangler has become one of my favorites in the realm of garage-funded horror, only to become second to Gary P. Cohen's video violence. One-time director Pat Bischow put his heart, soul, and $20 from his back pocket into the production of this flick, and it shows. It's premium horror garbage that any hardcore fan of a good, solid shot on video film can appreciate. There were quite a few scenes in the Soul Tangler that almost made me feel as if it were a sequel to the insane Canadian monstrosity known as Things. Or maybe that it was directed by the same two guys. It's complete with cringeworthy dialogue, atrocious voice dubbing, very forced Oaken acting, and about 200 shots of the same damn medical side cut of the anatomy of a guy's head every other scene. It's hilarious, bizarre, and fun. And that's how you know that it's a trashy thrill ride that you're gonna love. After life, after death, the madness begins. After life, after death, the madness begins. Surgery looks tasty. Even in a back pocket funded horror flick, the media is still annoying. Please, please. I have nothing to say, really. Dr. Simpson, does the closing of the Institute have anything to do with the research done by Dr. Anton Lupesky? Dr. Lupesky is no longer associated with the Whitewood Institution, closed or otherwise. Excuse Did you me. fire him? Um, Dr. Simpson, you're, you're considered to be a hero now that the plague of patient deaths has been discovered. Do you feel this is because of your personal investigation? Hardly. I hardly think so. I was just doing my job. And I sincerely hope that the grim circumstances surrounding the closing of Whitewood Institution doesn't mar its otherwise fine reputation for research. Excuse me, I have to go, really. Dr. Simpson, what about Dr. Lepesky? Dr. Lepesky is awaiting trial right now. And a Please. trial? What about the outcome of the trial? What's your comment? If there's any justice in this system, Mr. Dr. Lupesky and his research will be out of commission for a very long time. Excuse me. Wasn't he Please. conducting experimental What about the other patients? No other where, where are the patients? Patients? Well, it's because of your what personal happened? relationship with Dr. Lupesky. I have nothing to do with your personal relationship. Get this microphone out of my face. What about the senseless violence at the institution? Excuse me, I have to leave. This Jessica chick kind of looks like a bald eagle. A most hilarious scene where a van runs over a stoner hippie looking guy and then his body just vanishes into thin air. Zodiac Killer? Bitch slapped by a hammer. Finally, a movie with a zombie priest.
All this castle girl does is smoke. I haven't seen her eat anything at all. I don't know why I ever bother to cook for you when all you ever do is grab coffee anyway. Sandra, I don't know why you bother either. You look tired. Yeah, thanks. Did you sleep well? No. I had this really bizarre dream about a priest last night. It was wild. I think so. you're working way too hard. Ah, well, you may be right. Anyway. You're not gonna smoke already. Mm -hmm. At least eat something before you smoke. I can't eat. It's too early. I gotta go. I'll see you later. <sighs> it figures. Bye. Bye. Too much lens flare? That looks like the silliest satanic worship documentary I've ever seen. What's all this stuff? Oh, I'm trying to find out all I can about devil worship. Zach thinks that it may somehow be involved in the kidnappings that I was telling you about. But I thought they couldn't prove that they were kidnappings. Sandra, don't be so naive. Oh, you'd make a hell of a reporter. Is that what this tape's about? Yeah, I got it down at the video store. It's kind of a history of devil worship in the U.S. Well, enjoy. I'm going to bed. Listen, if you get tired, make sure you put your cigarette out. I don't want you to burn the house down. Okay, okay. Psoriasis is a bitch. <laughs> The Soul Tangler is riddled with violence and gore. There's a scene where Kim Castle stomps on a strange looking doll in the middle of a street and it's full of blood. A guy's head gets cut off about three quarters of the way and a ton of blood squirts out. God damn it! The skin of a skull is ripped off and the eyes and brain are completely exposed. They get curb stomped. This film kicks ass. And with all the awesome special effects and reanimator-like qualities that the Soul Tangler has crammed into its 60 or 90 minute runtime, depending on which version you choose to watch on the AGFA DVD, I would have thought after all this time it would have a bigger fan base or was more talked about by now. But for some reason it still hasn't made it that far. Maybe we all need to start attending church on Sunday with the zombie priest. Either way, my soul sings for you. Now get lost. <laughs>